Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the final video of this series. I made already 32 videos into the series where you can see my whole collection of NHL, AHL and defunct teams jerseys. I made 31 videos about the 32 NHL teams. Video number 32 was just out a few days ago for the AHL jerseys and my defunct team jerseys. Today let's talk about my international jerseys. A lot of are from Europe, one is not. Let's start off with this which is a Yokohama Grits jersey. Yeah, we got this uh, as a present to our wedding about uh, four months ago from a friend of mine who has uh, relatives in Japan. They bought this jersey, shipped it over to him. He gave it to us. Thank you, Kago, once again very much for this jersey. It's fantastic. From the Asian League, the Yokohama Grits. It has the number 23 because in 2023 we got married and it's so lovely a jersey from the Asian League and as you can see there are no ads on this jersey so this looks more like a, an NHL jersey than a European jersey get used to some ads in the jerseys that will follow this lovely Yokohama Grits jersey absolutely fantastic so up next let's get to Europe Let's get to the CHL, the Champions Hockey League, where the best teams of Europe play each other. Let's start off with the jersey from Tappara Tampere, from Finland. It's a great team. They have a fantastic jersey. I saw them play in Munich in the CHL. Tampere won the game and they played absolutely fantastic. Wearing this nice jersey, CHL logo and uh, the main sponsor of the CHL, which is Engelbert Strauss. Warrior is the jersey producer and Tapara Tampere logo with Yori Letere on the back. He played for the Flyers, so maybe some of you have heard this name before. Next jersey, let's stay in the CHL and go one country further. Let's go to Sweden. Swedish flag here on the front of the jersey. Uh, as the Tampere jersey had the flag of Finland here on the front of the jersey. But now it's about Sweden, it's about Rögle, BK. I did not see them play in Munich, but I went to the CHL shop uh, on the internet and I saw this jersey and I said, I have to have this one. Green with a beautiful logo, some red striping. This is absolutely fantastic. The striping here with the dots, the dark dots here on the jersey. This looks absolutely fantastic. And on the back we do have Moritz Seider. And yeah, I picked the wrong number. He wore, he wears 53, of course. I wasn't sure, so, and I picked 51. Anyway, Seider, yeah, he played for Rögle, Rögle for one year. After he was drafted, he played his first season in Grand Rapids. Then he came back to Sweden and played the year for Rögle before joining the Red Wings. And he wore this jersey, and it's fantastic. Now, away from the CHL, and to the legend. This is an authentic jersey. You can see the fight strap. Whoop. Here it is. Sign of an authentic jersey. The logo is soon on. Kladno, Ritri Kladno, from the year they played in the Chance Liga, which is the second division in the Czech Republic. And of course, yeah. Do I have to show it? I do. And the guy is still playing. This season he still played with 52, Mr. Jaromir Jager. And the ads are getting more. We have one here, one here, we have one here, we have one on the shoulder, we have some more down the sleeves. Even on the back, get used to ads with the next jerseys. The legend Jaromir Jager and the Ritri Kladno home jersey. But where is a home jersey? There also has to be a road jersey. Yeah, I got them both. I got them on eBay. They were, yeah, not too cheap, but then I want to have two Yaromi Yaga jerseys, one road, one home. The legend himself is on this jersey, Mr. Yaromi Yaga, and the road jersey of Ritri Klatno from the year they played in the Chance Liga. And finally, we arrived in Germany and we will stay in Germany for the rest of the path. I live in Munich. We do have a hockey club and Last week, my best man and I, we decided, okay, we don't 
want to have no tickets for hockey games when we have time. So we bought season tickets for next year. Yeah, uh, you're looking at a season ticket holder for Red Bull Munich. They wore this jersey last year for the Oktoberfest. It's the, the Oktoberfest specialty jersey. It looks like a Bavarian traditional jacket. Looks like buttons here. And the colors, the off-white, this is absolutely fantastic. This is a Ben Smith jersey. I showed this jersey when I talked about my uh, bachelor party. Have a look up in the corner if you want to know more about this jersey. From Red Bull Munich with Ben Smith on the back. I think this looks good. The quality of the jersey might not be the best. It's very thin. It's a fan jersey, not an authentic one, but it looks okay. Red Bull Munich. This brings me to the newest member of my jersey collection. When I was in uh, Köln and Düsseldorf about two weeks ago at the day of recording, I saw the game between Red Bull Munich and Düsseldorf at the stadium in Düsseldorf, the PSD Bank Dome. I did not make a video on this, but I bought the jersey. Because these colors, the fade from the light blue into the dark blue with some red, this looks very good. The logo of the team uh, is up here in the corner. DEG, Düsseldorfer Eishockey Gemeinschaft. I love the jersey, but it's jammed from ads. We have the Merkur, that's a gaming club or something like that here in Germany. This is the uh, Lion from Düsseldorf, which is as well here in the logo. Commercials, commercials, commercials on the back. Big commercial, CCM jersey, commercials as well. Here at the, uh, at the bottom, commercials. Name the number, Chomsky, he's a defenseman for Düsseldorf this year. This jersey is lovely. I love the fate. Great colors, Düsseldorf AG. Next up, next team in Germany. Eisbären Berlin. This is an authentic jersey again. It has the fight strap here. Some parts of the jersey are soon, like the DEL logo here and uh, the nameplate at the back. The numbers as well. Buchwieser number 56. Full of commercials. We have the Berlin flag here. We have the Germany flag here. A lot of ads as mentioned. But also this nice Eisbären logo, which really looks good. And uh, yeah, the Eisbären are the record holding champion in the DEL, so they won the most championships. They are the Montreal Canadiens of the DEL. <laughs> Let's see if they add another championship this year. At the day of recording, the playoffs have not started yet, but they will start within a week. The Eisbären Berlin will be a part of them. Let's see how they do. Anyway, their jersey is nice. Okay, before we come to the final club of the series, the final team, which is my hometown hometown team, the EV Landshut. I joined their first game when I was 11. It was a fantastic day, it was a fantastic game, and since then I'm in love with hockey. I have to say that uh, unless, unlike in the NHL, European teams issue new home, new road, and most of them also new alternate jerseys every year. So. Mostly the changes are small, but you cannot keep up with all these jerseys and I do not try to keep up with all these jerseys. This would be way too much. So I just have an example for a home jersey, a road jersey, a specialty jersey, an alternate jersey from my hometown club and then we have some classic jerseys from them as well. But let's start off with the home and the road jersey. The home jersey is the one in red with the white stripe. This looks, I think, very good. We have the skyline of... Uh, no, we don't. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have the skyline of Landshut here in the white. The logo is right in front of it. So we have a church tower here. We have the classic uh, buildings in the old town. We have the land tour here. And we have the castle here in this part of the jersey, right here. This is a standard fan jersey. So all, everything is screen printed. The logo, the name, the number everything. Here on the road jersey, this is an authentic one. It does not have the fight strap, but it has at least the DL2 logo soon. It has the name and number as well soon on. At least they can do this. As mentioned, for standard 
non-authentic jerseys, everything will be screen printed. For authentic jerseys, there will be some parts soon on, but not everything. But I think this jersey looks pretty nice. The logo is lovely. The three helmets, the logo of Lanzut. This will come back on the next jerseys as well. For the, uh, but this are the home and the road jersey from my hometown club, the for Lanzut. Okay, two more jerseys from my hometown club. There we have an alternate, which has a nice structure here on the jersey. Yeah, the, this is, yeah, it's also screen printed, so not a real structure, but this looks very nice with the logo, with all the sponsors, of course, 75 years, EV Lanzut, 1948 until 2023, here on the patch with the logo. We have Mr. Brandl on the back, who is a pretty good player. And here is the specialty jersey, the three helmets, the logo of the city of Landshut. This was the specialty jersey for the opening of a new stadium. It is an authentic jersey. It has the DL2 logo here soon on, but everything is screen printed, the name, the number, everything else, all the ads, but it's still a nice jersey, an alternate and a specialty jersey. So three more jerseys and we're through. I'm starting sweating a little bit. I'm still ill. Let's see, let's make it to the, to the end. With this jersey, which is a, an old home jersey, because the EFA Lanzut, my hometown club, is now playing in the second division, DEL2, but they also played in the DEL in the 90s, until the, they played in the DEL until they went bankrupt and had to sell their license. They wore this jersey when they were in the DEL. At this time, they were the Lanzut Cannibals, and this wonderful Cannibals uh, are on the jersey and the front and on the back. This is a Retza jersey number 13. He was a pretty good player as well. And this is the time of my favorite jerseys from my hometown club. I love the DEL jerseys. Möbel Billa is a furniture house in the Lanzut area. And this is a lovely jersey, the Cannibals. And the final two jerseys, they are almost the same. These two, these were the road jerseys. The sponsor is the same. Konos Net, these are very lovely jerseys. The slight difference here, the color is white and here it is red. With the beer sponsor, Wittmann, still DEL Deutsche Eishockey Liga. And we have two absolute legends on the back of this jersey. Let's take this one first. Dean Everson, who played his final two years of playing with my hometown club, Eva Lanzut. He was the coach of the Minnesota Wild until they fired him not that long ago. Let's see if he will work again in the NHL. I really hope so, because I like Dean Everson. And this one, Mike Bullard, one of the most legendary players in Landshut. Uh, he once scored 50 goals in a season for the Pittsburgh Penguins. The year before, they got uh, Mario Lemieux. Then he played together with Mario for one or two years before going overseas. There is some difference again on this jersey with the red stripe here going through the numbers and here there is nothing. Um, I think this jersey is one year prior to this. It could be it could be also two, but Bullard was here before, he announced before Everson, so this is the older jersey of these two, but there is almost no difference. But there had to be something changed because the teams issue, as mentioned, a new jersey every year. Okay, that's it. It's done. It's over. Now you've seen all my jerseys. What do you think about that? It was, I'm sure, one of the longest videos of the series, but there were also a lot of jerseys and I had the feeling that I should tell you something about every jersey. I hope you liked it. Let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed the series. Maybe I will do this again in a few years. Depends how many jerseys I will add in the future. As Fanatics will take over, I can, could see myself not adding that many NHL jerseys. Let's see what happens. If they come up with a better quality, I'm in doubt about that. It's Fanatics. What do you expect? Anyway, this was the playlist. Have a look again up in the corner. There's the playlist to enjoy. I think this should be some hours of hockey jerseys. I hope you will do that. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And let's see which topic of jerseys will be next here on the channel. Until then, have a good time. Goodbye.